What's up everybody, John Set back with another video for you guys today and today this video is going to be a little bit different so I don't know if you guys have um, watched my video it was like something like me essentially just flying a Hubson drone but by doing so I um, crashed the drone twice me crashing it I broke the blades and I broke the motors and I broke, well not broke I lost the aerial so it basically doesn't fly no more so instead I went and brought a DJI Phantom 1 knew that I wanted to buy a broken drone because uh, you can get it for cheaper and it's easy to fix right but with this one the drone hardly exists so no parts or nothing is available for you but yeah but we did manage to find a part for what we needed and it's arrived today so hopefully we can fix that today and maybe hopefully fly it but without further ado let's jump into it so basically this is as it came it basically came as like i guess you can say it's like a suitcase because it's even like a backpack right because you've got the straps here but as you open it it's got like these this like standard well, basically all DJIs come in this like polystyrene box case thing but as you undo it you see the drone that's the first thing you literally see but in here if you like to focus in here you have the battery charger for the battery for the drone and that's just the figure of a cable which powers the brick which powers the charger but this is the DJI Phantom drone here as you can see as you can see this arm here is missing a motor because that's the arm that's broken it's meant to have like this kind of it's meant to have like this kind of motor on here but we'll get more into that later and through here you have the well remote of course in here you have the you have the Phantom battery in here itself and this is the motor that meant to go in here well and as you dig further down this actually came with the drone it's near enough like a ripoff of the GoPro this is lighter so it's much better for the drone to well carry so this is just the standard remote that you get with the drone you got the power button here And for some reason, the air is like there. When it's basically meant to be in there, makes no sense, but oh well. And what you have here is the actual drone. Yeah, you got a DJI logo in the middle, and you have the battery by here, and you got the LED at the front which flashes very rapidly. This here is just basically like the camera gimbal. The camera just, well, screws into this, and you can move it up and down to your position. It does not have a, a like a built-in camera like my other one, but it would do. Now let's talk about the problems. This is its problem right here. As you see, that one, that one, that one's all the same, but this one, it kind of broke. It broke off the shell, and the shell is really hard to Rumors get. Rumours that you can put the whole Phantom in a Phantom 2 body, but yeah, again, them rare, but this is the problem here. So apparently, according to the geezer, the person that brought it off, apparently he was flying it and it fell and broke this off. I mean, do, do you believe that story that he was flying it and then it fell and broke this off? I already started taking it apart a little bit. That's basically the inside, basically. That thing right there is the, the drone's GPS. All of them are up the top. And that's like the brain of it, I, I'm guessing that just basically plugs into like one of these slots here that's the motor yeah that's the control speed board and that's got it that's got it but that one hasn't it basically snapped off because that's like one of the things right here that's part of the board like how can you use flying it then it just drop and it just broke like that it makes no sense that's the other half of the board right there that's the new part that we need to basically install easy enough job to be fair 
all I have to do is, all I need to do is just solder them wires onto there and plug that into there. Easy enough, simple job. So it is a dilator and we soldered the board onto the Phantom 1 and we also glued the um, the broken part to the frame with some poly cement. It, it seemed to work but also we went out and brought <clears throat> a new drone. A, the, the Phantom 2, we got lucky. But so what we want to do is just try to put the Phantom 1 into the Phantom 2 if that's possible. Because this one here is the Phantom 2. I mean, yeah, no difference. Nina looks the same, but I don't know what's going on with this camera here. Don't ask me about the camera. We, we're gonna completely scratch that camera. There's nothing different, but except the propellers. Instead of having nuts on them to actually screw these, actually screw themselves. The mount is different. So is this battery here. It's an intelligent battery. You just click it and hold it, and it basically turns on. It's like the, it's like the Spark, the GI Spark one. But I don't know what's actually wrong with this drone. But I can't test it to fly like it turns on fine and everything but the remote is very different to the to the Phantom 2 remote because on the Phantom 2 remote there's like gimbals here there's like little buttons to control the gimbal which is on the Phantom 2 but I don't have them and there's a couple of LEDs here to indicate the battery's well life so what we basically want to do is try and put the Phantom 2 into this one here. So we have to take this all apart and put the Phantom 1 part in here. So alrighty guys, it is the next day and all yesterday I was taking apart the Phantom 1 and 2. And let me just say it's been a complete nightmare. Because all the screws was just rounding off and just breaking basically. And on the screwdrivers were rubbish and that it's very time consuming because you have to take apart phantom 1 and 2 and have to find all the screws and things on the phantom 2 was different to the phantom 1 so you have to kind of like swap them around but it's kind of challenged and it's still in bits now and the fan noise in the background is me just charging the intelligence battery so that's the Phantom 2 body and that's the intelligence battery in the number 2 but I'm charging it in a very dangerous way because that's the charging station that I brought but I'm just powering the fingers to two wires to charge the battery because I don't actually have a charger it's very dangerous so um, I wouldn't charge it that way <laughs> but I think the battery is actually done to be fair maybe not quite sure yet, but hey ho. Moving on here to my bed, and it's a well, tip. This is exactly like yesterday, but you have some nice legs over there. Then you have the Phantom 2 inner part, <laughs> the board and everything. You have the Phantom. That's the Phantom 2 shell. That's the Phantom 1. And that's and that's the Phantom One in a part type thing. Then that's just the Phantom One body and a bunch of screws, drivers, the box. But well, basically, we're gonna put this into that one once the battery is done. But well, I will see you guys after the, the drone is inside the Phantom Two shell and take you for a ride over the park somewhere and I'll get some onboard footage for you guys. So alrighty, this is, well we put the Phantom 1 stuff inside of the Phantom 2 show and it works perfectly and and now everything's inside the Phantom 2 show but all what we have to do is take it over the park and test fly it and this thing's been hell of a nightmare but it's been fun doing it and we also kept the Phantom 2 battery 
and the propellers that goes on here because it, it's a lot easier with the intelligence battery but once this thing dies we have no idea how to charge it because we ain't got the shot for it but overall it looks quite nice I mean we've got the camera mount down there so we can get some onboard footage of me flying it and it just looks overall I mean we had to put back in the LED because on the Phantom 2 they don't have an LED for some reason so and looks nice overall and so let's without further ado let's go to the park and let's fly okay so this is my location yet again another abandoned vehicle and there is just an abandoned burnt car over there but there is like a school over there and a bunch of trees basically so this is a perfect location and the sun's kind of wanting to come out so i think i'm gonna fly the drone here and won't get much recording because because um i don't really have a tripod stand with me so so what you have to basically do to turn on this drone is just basically hit that then press and hold it then you hear the noise and i need to go and turn the controller switch it on bella bim bella bim and then you got a green and three reds telling you that setting up the gps signal basically in fact it's already done to be fair that's just saying the harm point so you know how to return it and it's done The drone just fell and it's really muddy on the grass. Well, it didn't even drop too fast, it just like slowly went down fast. But there's a light flashing for some reason, and I don't know why. We still got battery, so what's going on there? Okay, so I packed it all up because the drone's playing up and my SD card's full. And it too far, it looks like it's gonna literally rain it down any minute, so it's been fun. That abandoned vehicle's still there, but it's been fun and we'll we will be back for some more. But for now, packing it all up, wait for it to dry because the grass is very mushy and there's some nice tracks up there. So yeah. I'll see you next time.
Alrighty guys, we just got back from the park of flying my drone and it is a very cold outside because it is close to Christmas so that means that winter is here and I had a ton of fun flying this drone it was hard flying it because it did have a onboard camera so you couldn't really connect it to your phone and see which direction you were so it was just yeah I had a ton of fun flying this drone and there is defo gonna be another drone video after Christmas because of the mouthful fact that I have a drone for Christmas so there will be another video but if you guys did enjoy this one and I'm sorry if it's very long winded but if you did enjoy it make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for post notification so when I upload you get a notification and I'll see you next time for some more videos Jonesy out